How's it going? Dave here and in today's video I'm going to be giving you 10 tips for promoting and marketing your single. So I'm releasing my debut single very soon and I've been brainstorming lots of ideas for how I can really promote and push the track as much as possible. So I thought I'd give you 10 in this video that might help you if you're a musician looking to release your own music. Okay, so this is a bit of a different video. Of course, my channel is mostly focused on guitar lessons, but I like to switch things up a little bit. So let's get straight into it. So the first tip is to make a live performance or a playthrough video. So this allows you to really milk the release of your song. You can release the song, first of all, whether you've got a music video or just one of those standard streaming videos. And then a week later or something like that, you can release your live playthrough video. And that's just a way of keeping the content running and getting the most out of your track. And if you have lyrics, for example, you could even do a lyric video as well. So it's all about trying to get as much out of this song as possible. Now, an added benefit of doing a playthrough video is that people are going to look at you playing the guitar or whatever instrument you're playing, and they're going to want to learn how to play that song. So stick around for tip nine, and then you'll see how that affects tip number nine. Okay, so let's go into step number two now. Step number two is to send messages to your friends one to one. What I don't want you doing here is copying and pasting a message and sending it to all of your friends, the exact same message, cookie cutter. No one likes that. I don't like it when someone sends me a message that is clearly copied and pasted, okay? I have more time for people who take the time to write out a message that's personalized to me and I know it's written for me rather than copied and pasted for a lot of people. As well as this, you probably want to be interacting with people that you're sending these messages to beforehand by commenting on their posts, sharing their things, supporting their work, as it's gonna make them more likely to reciprocate and return the favor. Now, the third thing I'm gonna be doing and the third tip I have for you is I'm gonna be using the awesome marketing and promotion tools that DistroKid offer. So I'm gonna jump into my screen share so you can see what they have to offer. Thanks to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Uh, this is a sponsored video, but I do not promote anything that I'm not gonna use myself. Let's jump into some of the tools that are available through DistroKid. So first of all, uh, you've got mini videos. So this is a really cool little feature. You can put your album art in one of these little backgrounds and create a cool little video. So as you can see, if I press play on this video, it'll look a bit like that. And of course you can choose whatever song you want and apply it to that. So I could do it to my song Animate. That would be the artwork that appears in, in this little square here. And I've got a little mini video that I can download and put on my social media platforms. Okay, so another tool we can use is DistroKid Upstream. So this is really cool. Upstream is DistroKid's optional and free matchmaking service that helps artists and record labels find each other. So yeah, this is really great. You can create competition among record labels for your music and artists gain unprecedented exposure to the world's leading major and independent record labels, plus leverage to win the most artist-friendly deals possible. If you join and a label loves you, they'll contact you directly. There's no obligation to sign a record deal. Opting into Upstream does not take away any rights, royalties, or percentages from artists, and you can leave at any time. So I think this is a really cool feature, a really good way to put your music out there and give it an opportunity to be heard by record labels if that's a thing that you want to be doing. Then we've got promo cards. So let me choose Animate create a promo card for animate and have a look at this we've got all of these different options of cards that we can download and put on our social media i like this uh this tape one here um i also like this billboard one it's very um relevant to the uh background of our artwork as well yeah there's lots of different options here and you can download one of these pull it on your social media it's great now another thing you can do is sync your lyrics up so all of the songs that i've released here um, i can put the lyrics in and what this will do will help the lyrics pop up on google searches and it's a really good way to get your lyrics in all of these lyric services as well it's definitely a great tool obviously i'm going to be instrumental obviously i'm not going to be using this but if i do end up using a vocalist for one of my songs then definitely lyrics are going in here and then of course you've got the spotify for artists that comes with distro kid and you can add these cool little canvases so if i choose animate by dreamwaves again okay i can click add canvas and here i can upload a video i'm not going to upload a video now because i don't have one it has to be a 9 by 16 ratio uh mp4 three to eight seconds long at least 720 pixels tall 
But then once you've uploaded this, this will be a little video that appears on people's phones when they're streaming your songs. Okay, so really good tools that you can use from DistroKid to promote, to market, and to just enhance your tracks. Now, if you'd like to get your music onto Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, all the leading streaming services, and keep 100% of your royalties, make sure you head to this link here. I'll put it in the description as well, and that will grant you 7% off your first year's DistroKid subscription. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of that offer. Now, let's continue with the video. The fourth tip is to create a competition. Now, there's lots of different competitions you can do. For example, I'm debating whether I should do a solo competition where I give people a backing track with a stripped down version of my song and they have to solo over it. Whoever does the best solo wins the competition. If you don't want to do that, you can do the uh, best cover of your song and you could even do a really simple competition where all people have to do is like, comment and share your particular post. Now with these competitions, you really, really want to put a lot of effort into the prize. Make sure it's really, really worth it. I'm thinking about maybe giving away a guitar or something like that. Something really, really that makes people want to do this competition. And with each entry of the competition, you're going to get more reach and more people putting their eyes on your content. So definitely worth doing that. Tip number five is to do a live stream. Now the first thing you want to do is schedule this live stream, make a big event of it, uh, make sure you promote it in advance, letting people know when this live stream is going to be. What you could do is you could do a Q&A or you could maybe even do a live stream where you just talk about your thoughts on the song and how you came up with the song or maybe you could do both in one go. Now this is a great way of getting to know your fans better and your fans getting to know you better and building a connection with your fans which means they'll be more invested in your product and more likely to stick around for future songs as well. So definitely make sure you do a live stream. Tip number six is to join forums, Facebook pages, Facebook groups and subreddits that contain your target audience. I don't want you going in there, joining the groups and all of a sudden spamming your music, telling everyone, oh look, check out my music. You've not invested any time into those groups. You want to make sure before releasing the tracks, you're becoming a part of the community there. So you want to look at people's posts, comment on them, help them out if they have any questions, really become part of the community. And then when you share your song, you're more likely to get people being more receptive to you and checking your stuff out. Okay, so join lots of groups, Facebook groups, subreddits and forums are the places that I can think of. There's probably more types of forums out there. Let me know in the comments if you know anymore. Tip number seven is to put the link to your song in as many places as possible. So this could be a link to streaming it on Spotify or a link to buying it on Bandcamp. It doesn't matter whichever one you want people to do. If you want people to listen to it more, then go for the Spotify. If you want people to buy it, then go for the Bandcamp link. But just trying to get it in as many places as possible. So put it in all of your bios, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, anywhere else that you have a social media profile. Put it in your profile pictures, your uh, banners as well, making sure it's just everywhere and it's easy for people to get to. Ask your friends, ask your family to put it in their bios and pictures as well and really, really spread the word. I think that's a great way of getting people to click on your link and check your music out. Tip eight is to do some Facebook ads. Now, you are going to have to pay for this, but you don't need to have a lot of money. You can even decide to do maybe two or three pounds a day for a week and you'll get lots of new eyes on your music. And these new fresh faces are people that you wouldn't have had any chance of finding uh, in Facebook groups or any of these forums or anywhere else. So it's a really, really good way to target people that you would never have had a chance to before. Plus it increases your views and your engagement and your reach. So uh, there's nothing to lose here. Now in tip number one, I said that doing a live playthrough video is going to be helpful for tip number nine and this is tip number nine so this is to create an instructional video or release guitar tabs or sheet music for your song so when you're doing a live performance people are going to want to learn how to play that song if they're instrumentalists so why not give them the option to i'm thinking of doing a instructional video of my single along with a guitar tab on my patreon page when i release the song and that's an extra form of income because obviously streaming doesn't get you anything nowadays does it so you need to be creative with how you earn money as a musician now and i think doing this is a great way of diversifying your streams of income and finally tip number 10 i think this is probably the most important tip and the most effective tip is to get your music onto other people's content so for example there are bloggers and reviewers who are dying to get new music on their radar to review and to talk about. 
So go and find them. There are loads in every different genre you can think of. So there will be someone there who wants to review your music. YouTube channels as well. There are always gonna be YouTube channels who need your music for their intros, their outros, background music, uh, and maybe some other situations where they need music as well. So definitely hook up YouTube channels that may need your music. Radio is also a good option. So you can hit up your local radio stations, also hit up internet radio stations as well uh, that play your genre. And if you're in the UK like me, you can hit up BBC Introducing as well to get a slot on BBC Radio. This is gonna take some hard work, messaging lots of people, but it's gonna be worth it if you get some radio time, isn't it? And finally, you can add yourself to playlists. So Spotify playlists, I'm thinking specifically. So there's a few different ways you can do this. You can find people who run Spotify playlists in your particular genre and shoot them a message. You can say something like, oh, I've seen your playlist. Uh, check out my band. I think you might like us. And if you do, it'd be greatly appreciated if you can put us on your playlist. Something like that, very simple. And also you can let Spotify know as well before you've released a single, that you've got a single coming up and you want it to be on one of their playlists. So definitely go and try that out as well. So those are my 10 tips for promoting and getting the most out of your music. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Do you have any more tips that are really useful for promoting your music? Let me know, I wanna hear them, and I'm sure lots of people are gonna benefit from hearing them down in the comments as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video as well and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you want more where this came from, check out this video because that's got some more awesome advice for you as well. So I hope to see you there and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.